Let's start section two. In this section, we're going to cover middleware. We'll talk about how it works, what hooks are called, and when they're called, how to create custom middleware, and how to use middleware to catch unhandled exceptions. In this video, we'll focus on how middleware works and the various hooks we can target with our middleware. As we can see in the Django documentation, middleware is code that hooks into the request response cycle of a page view. Think of it like a plugin for your Django app. There are quite a few built-in Django plugins, for example, sessions, CSRF protection, and authentication. Pretty much every app will use at least one piece of middleware, the built-in common middleware. If you've ever observed how Django automatically adds a slash to URLs, you can think common middleware. If you have some code that runs on multiple pages of your site, consider if middleware is a good choice to help you not repeat yourself. You can see here that a typical Django app will have several middleware handlers defined. Note that the order they're specified is important because they're processed in this order. In this case, session middleware is first in the stack and security middleware is last. In the next video, we'll write some middleware, but before we do that, it's helpful to know that each middleware function can respond to one of five hooks. The hooks are process request, which happens to each and every request even before Django knows what view will be executed. This can be used to short circuit further processing. For example, if you want to block certain browsers from accessing your site. Process view, which happens when Django has figured out what view will be called. This could be useful if you want to convert old URLs to new ones. The process template response hook is called right after the view has finished if the response has a render method. That means that it won't be called if you're viewed as a redirect, for example. That can be useful if you want to do something before a template is rendered. Process response is called on all responses just before returning to the browser. It is always called even if you short circuited some of the middleware or even the view. Lastly, there's this process exception hook, which happens when the view function raises an exception. This can be very helpful if you want to log details about an unhandled error and then show the end user a generic oops page. There's one more important thing to note about middleware and the order of execution. We see that the middleware that happens after the view function is called is handled in reverse order. So on the request side, common middleware is processed first, but on the response side, it's handled last. 